How does biodynamic thinking transfer to production of wines in Marshall and Birch? I think the the first thing that Pascal got us to do was to reconfigure our Denmark winery um, to make the kind of wines that we wanted to make. So uh, we've um, uh, put in cool rooms for be able to control the temperature when fruit comes in. Uh, we've put in small open fermenters to be able to do small um, small lots with um, uh, wild ferments. We've put in basket a basket press. Uh, we've put in grape sorting equipment so to be able to um, uh, berry by berry try and get the well the highest quality fruit to go into those vats to make the highest quality wine. So there was a, there was a, it's, it's a mental change that we want to make small quantities of very high quality um, wine. Um, so it's, we've had to spend a fair bit of money down there. Um, the people are very enthused with uh, uh, the grape sorting equipment. We've had to um, learn how to operate it. Um, it's, necessitates us doing a lot of hand picking in the vineyards um, and that's required some training with the pickers so that we only want absolutely perfect bunches being hand picked and then we want them over our sorting tables so that absolutely perfect berries are going into the ferment. So that's been very interesting just from uh, an equipment and an approach to the wine making. And then there's the the methods of making wine that Pascal has introduced, which is using the lunar calendar uh, with wild ferments for um, lee stirring, um, and for the whole production for lee stirring, for racking of the wines, for um, yeah, divatting, yeah, bottling. I mean, all the major uh, things you have to do, you know, uh, when you rack a wine. When it, so we are looking at the lunar calendar. And we pick up uh, the good days. And now, I mean, there's a new addition in the team. And uh, yeah, they are very focusing on that. Yeah. Uh, so it's, uh, that's good, I think. Uh, yeah, so I think for winemaking, the, we put it in place some um, traditional Burgundian and not only Burgundy, but also for the for the Shiraz, uh, Rome, uh, winemaking techniques, you know, very traditional winemaking techniques, and also something very important. But that we can do that because of the work that is done in the vineyard and the sorting that is done and the sorting tables and everything. We make sure that only the best fruit are going into the vats or in the press for the whites. And then we can make the wine without and I mean I, I call that low intervention yeah. wine making. Which means that you make the wines from the grapes without using commercial yeast, without using enzymes, without using any I mean any. Sometimes you have to but we try to minimize the use of any enological products, you know. So we make the wines from grapes, from the grapes, you know. So these wines are very natural. And this is the best way, I think, to get that terroir expression, that uniqueness, that originality that we can get. We don't want a heavy um, hand imposed on the fruit. We just want to let the fruit express exactly what it expresses with no intervention, minimal intervention. So that's been, it's been interesting and we're pretty encouraged with the, the results. That doesn't mean that the winemaker is on holiday. Huh? The winemaker is still there <laughs> on top of things, uh, monitoring, controlling. Uh, but we just try not to interfere. Well, uh, we, but it still needs a lot of control, it still needs a lot of uh, care uh, to be able to, to do that. Well, it's uh, when the fruit's cold and you're on the sorting table for many hours, it's not easy. 
<laughs> it's not easy. It's a noisy sorting table and uh, you've got really cold hands, but you want to make sure that, no, I want the best berries going into that vat. And uh, you've just got it. So, no, the winemaking is certainly not on holidays. Fantastic. Well, it's a, it is ultimate for winemaking, I would say. Because it's not the easiest. Because the easiest is to compensate. If you have something missing, oh, you just put it there, no? Because we have a range of, uh, I mean, you can add a lot of things in, in a wine. You know, to, but no, we try to make a wine the most natural way possible. Fantastic.